Are natural supplements like ginkgo biloba or maca root actually effective when it comes to treating erectile dysfunction? Or are we simply buying into overhyped promises? And in today's video, we're diving into the real science behind two of the most talked about herbal remedies for sexual health. If you, or someone you care about, are looking for natural solutions to improve erections or boost libido, this is a video you cannot afford to miss. We'll look at what the research actually says, what works, what doesn't, and why. We'll cover not only the mechanisms these supplements claim to work through, but whether those claims hold up in high-quality, placebo-controlled studies. I promise you, by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with real, evidence-based knowledge that will help you make smarter, safer, and more effective decisions for your sexual health. Let's begin with maca root, a popular supplement often marketed for enhancing libido and sexual performance. Maca is a Peruvian root vegetable derived from the plant Lepidium maini. It has long been used in traditional Andean medicine and has gained global attention in wellness communities. But again, what does the scientific evidence actually show? The mechanism by which maca influences sexual function remains unclear. It may act centrally, in the brain, potentially modulating libido through neurotransmitter pathways. Unlike ginkgo, its action is less likely to involve vascular mechanisms or PDE5 inhibition. There is a noteworthy study, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial examining the effects of maca taken at a daily dose of 2-400 mg for 12 weeks in men with diagnosed erectile dysfunction. While the study did report statistically significant improvement in International Index of Erectile Function scores, the mean change was only 1.6 points. This is where clinical nuance becomes essential. In urology, we use a concept called the Minimal Clinically Important Difference, MCID, to determine whether a change in score reflects a perceptible benefit to the patient, not just a statistical difference. For the index of erectile function, the MCID varies depending on the severity of erectile dysfunction. For men with mild ED, a two-point change might be meaningful. For moderate ED, a minimum change of five to seven points is required, and in severe ED, that threshold rises to between seven and 12 points. Therefore, a 1.6-point improvement likely falls below a threshold that most men would even notice. Other studies evaluating maca have looked at different populations, including healthy men and trained cyclists. Here, the evidence is mixed. Some trials noted improved sexual desire, but not necessarily improved erectile performance. Importantly, improvements in libido and improvements in erectile function are not always correlated. Doses studied ranged from 1.5 grams to 3 grams per day, but the variability in study design population and endpoints makes the data hard to generalize. On a positive note, maca appears to be reasonably well tolerated. Reported side effects are mild and include moodiness, gastrointestinal discomfort such as cramps or gastritis, and occasional insomnia. Let's now turn to ginkgo biloba. This natural extract is derived from the leaves of the ginkgo tree and has been used for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine. Chemically, it contains flavonoids, glycosides, and terpenoids, compounds believed to have antioxidant and vasodilatory effects. The proposed mechanism by which ginkgo may improve erectile function is through the inhibition of phosphodiesterase type 5, PDE5. This is the same enzymatic target utilized by prescription medications like sildenafil. There is also some evidence suggesting ginkgo may enhance nitric oxide bioavailability, which in theory should help with endothelial function and vasodilation, essential elements of a healthy erectile response. However, when we move from theory to clinical data, the story becomes much more sobering. The majority of clinical studies evaluating ginkgo's effectiveness have focused narrowly on men who experience antidepressant-induced sexual dysfunction, that is, sexual side effects brought on by medications such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, the available randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials, which included men aged between 23 and 66, consistently found no statistically significant benefit of ginkgo at doses ranging from 120 to 240 mg per day when it came to improving sexual function. It's important to highlight that these studies were well-designed and controlled for bias in scientific research that matters significantly. However, despite the theoretical benefits, 
The clinical data simply does not support the use of ginkgo biloba for improving erectile function in men, even within the niche category of antidepressant-related sexual side effects. Moreover, although ginkgo is a natural product, this does not make it risk-free. Adverse effects can include gastrointestinal discomfort, sedation, increased appetite, headaches, nausea, and even peripheral neuropathy such as numbness in the fingers. There have also been documented cases of spontaneous bleeding, particularly in individuals taking anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs. In light of this, those on medications such as SSRIs, antipsychotics, or blood thinners should exercise caution or avoid ginkgo altogether. At this point, based on high-quality evidence, I would not recommend ginkgo biloba as an effective treatment for erectile dysfunction. Among natural compounds, agents like L-arginine or L-citrulline, which are amino acid precursors to nitric oxide and have more robust supporting data, remain more promising options within the supplement category. In summary, while both ginkgo biloba and maca root have intriguing botanical profiles and historical use in traditional medicine, current scientific evidence does not support either as a reliable or clinically meaningful treatment for erectile dysfunction. That being said, research in this field is ongoing and our understanding continues to evolve. If you're experiencing ED or sexual dysfunction, it is important to consult a physician, ideally a urologist, who can help determine the underlying cause whether hormonal, vascular, neurological, psychological, or even related to medication usage. Evidence-based treatments exist and can be extremely effective. Above all, your health is worth your time and attention. Do not rely solely on unverified supplements or anecdotal testimonials. Take ownership of your well-being and consult qualified professionals to guide your journey toward better sexual health. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this content valuable, consider sharing it with others who may benefit. And as always, remember to take care of yourself, because you deserve nothing less.